de-identification keeps your data on the DL. Data collection is necessary for businesses to better understand and serve their customers. While this data is an important asset, much of it is highly sensitive, and organizations have a responsibility to protect the identities of their customers. That's where data de-identification comes in. Data de-identification is a process where data is masked or decoupled from an individual in order to protect their identity. There are different methods and use cases for de-identification, which we'll discuss here. To dig deeper on all things data management, check out our dedicated site at the link above or in the description below. And subscribe to Ion Tech for all things business tech. The first step of de-identification is data tagging. Labeling data elements as either direct or indirect identifiers, then choosing which are subject to de-identification. Direct identifiers are unique to an individual, like a person's name, while indirect identifiers are more vague, like a person's race. So how do businesses decide what data is subject to de-identification? There are two common guidelines expert determination, and safe harbor. Expert determination relies on recommendations from skilled data analytics professionals, while safe harbor simply removes 18 specific elements like names, contact information, locations, and account numbers. Then, before data can be masked, data teams must implement access controls. This involves technical measures like identity and access management, and establishes what data can be accessed, who is permitted to access it, and the legitimate purposes for which it can be accessed. From here, one of several de-identification techniques can process the data and mask different elements. Common de-identification methods include encryption, which scrambles data so that only authorized parties can understand it, noise, which randomly misclassifies certain variables, perturbation, which places fake data in place of the masked elements, and pseudonymization, which replaces identifiers with placeholders or pseudonyms. Overall, de-identification allows organizations to collect and use sensitive data with a lower risk of privacy breaches that can affect both business and the well-being of individuals. How do you de-identify data? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for all things business tech.